Let's set up Beacon Mic for Microsoft Teams. It's really straightforward. There's only a couple of little things you need to do, but there's one small caveat that you're gonna to wanna to do to make sure that you get the best out of your Beacon Mic. Now you can access the window that I'm gonna show you now, either by going to the bottom left corner of Teams when it starts up and looking at your general settings, or probably more likely you're going to use these settings when you're actually in a call, which is up in that top right-hand corner. You do the three dot, dot drop down, and then you select your device settings. And that'll take you to pretty much the same window. It looks ever so slightly different. For the speaker output, you're gonna select Beacon Mic. That's the headphones for your Beacon Mic because the Beacon Mic actually sends the audio from Windows through Teams to your headphones. Then you're gonna to wanna to use the Beacon Mic as your microphone. So these two things are set already right here in this window. Now, when it says adjust mic sensitivity automatically, yes, you can do that. If your mic level gets a little bit too low, Teams will boost it up a little bit. Generally, if you followed the setup instructions for your Beacon mic, it's already going to sound great before it gets to Teams and it won't really need to do much, but it's a little bit of a good fail safe to have in there. Syncing device buttons doesn't really apply to this product. Well, let's go down here and this is the key factor. Where you've got noise suppression. Now, you know that Beacon mic has noise suppression in it and we're already suppressing the noise, but for some reason, if you choose off, which would be the natural thing you think you'd choose in Microsoft Teams, it adds a hiss to the mic sound. We have no idea why we've all tried it in the office. We have no clue. You have to set it to low and then it will allow Beacon Mic to do its own noise suppression and you'll sound great. Um, the other thing to do is to tick high fidelity music mode. And the reason you wanna do that is you want the highest amount of data to be able to be throughput on your call to give you the best audio quality. And really, that's pretty much it. Set those few things up and you should be ready to go with Beacon Mic and Microsoft Teams.